Aloha everybody, I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000 k and once again, welcome back to Let's Play Vampire Part 10. Last time we stopped the epidemic and we defeated Doris Fletcher. But now, we're heading to the Temple Church. Yes, my game is lagging right now. Annoying skulls. Just gotta get some blood. There's another skull. And he just bit me on purpose just to get me in a bad mood. Stop that already. Watch out. Uh oh. A pre one. Pre one brawlers are over are everywhere. Okay. Let's see if I can get rid of this one. Get a head over there. Stupid skulls. Oh, a big beast coming from behind. Not these guys again. Those disgusting blinker skulls. Go away. What are you doing? All right. All right. Okay. First, I gotta lure that beast to the pre wind so they can attack him. Great idea. Ain't safe here for a gentleman. Okay. Just ignore the pre wins right now, Jonathan. These ill formed skulls. Took a direct hit. I better make sure I count. Good riddance. Wait till the gas just fades away. She didn't drop anything. Whatever. Roaring. Hmm. It's locked, all right. I should find. Let's see here. And another way to get into the neighborhood. We gotta find another way to get to the neighborhood. Find a passage to get around the quarantine stockade. Gotta find another way. Let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> And I can't, still can't whistle right now, but I try my best. Okay. 
I'm gonna check the map again. All right, better go straight. Stupid little form stalls. Don't disrespect me. Skull scum. Alright, punks. Wait till she's done blocking. Alright, you punks, let's do this. Uh -oh, watch out! No! Supposed to wait until he's done blocking. Whoa. That's another way to counter. In other words, stop wasting your stamina. So that's it, huh? There's gotta be some scowls here. Why are there so many annoying ill scowls? Alright. He's dead. Or in a mine. Here. We're in the we're going the wrong way. See if I can check my map again. This is my territory. Oh, econ econs. So this is the passage Jonathan was talking about. Why are these guys so annoying? This coming shadows. Kind of reminds you of Pokemon. And a Pokemon uses that move called Double Team, so they can increase their evasiveness. You cannot win. Well, yes, I can, punk. Stop it, you econ punk. Come on. Stuck to the wall. Not for long. It's a tree. If I can check my map. Which way am I gonna go? Hmm. If I could just keep going. Around the fountain. That's what. This way? Well, if I could just check one more time. Hmm. Let 
No. I ain't it. Okay, maybe I'll check in there and see. Ah, there it is. If the district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it'll plunge into chaos. Citizens will be reported missing. The request will be lost, and dangerous creatures will begin to roam the streets. Kind of messed up, if you ask me. Okay, why are you loading? Please. I don't want my frames to go down. Please. Unnatural selection. Follow the passage to reach Elonius, Elosius Dawson's mansion. Gotta reach Dawson's mansion, okay? He's the main pillar. This is despicable. Alright. I see. We gotta get some rats so we can get more blood. I have this thirst for blood. Ugh. Okay. Now we're in the sewers again. One. This is despicable. I cannot enter. Yep. Door's locked from the other side, so that's why we have to go to the other side. I will crush you. We got Leon Augustine. He's one of the Volkoids. He's got a hat on. Ouch. He's at a level 32, and it's going to be absolutely irritating. He doesn't do much damage. All I gotta do is counter his moves. Okay. Yeah, he keeps using his claws. He summons shadows just so he could attack me. I advise you to be careful. Ow. That hurts. One. Better dodge. Well, he does this stupid move. He's seriously strong. He summons three shadows to attack me.
Ow. You're really annoying me, punk. He just uses a sprint attack. Ow! Almost dead. Oh my god. Haha! -ha, finished! Got a new collectible. Good riddance, stupid Volkoid punks. Now we can proceed. My goodness, this is like a friggin' maze here. Alright. There's so many barrels. Fire in a barrel. Is this a stupid invisible walls? Okay, probably need to get rid of this thing right now. Sorry, I don't get confused. It's locked, all right. That door is locked. Gotta do this. Gotta, gotta turn the wheel over to, to make a bridge, All right? Gotta go from the other side, folks. It's like a puzzle. Yes! That's how you do it. Booyah! Okay, open this door. Alright, we're in a different area. Got some shotgun shell. Oh my god, what's this? A skull? Oh my god, make that four skulls. Pretty annoying. Why are these guys have to be this annoying? Now let's see them ha they handle this. I dodge at the last second. Ooh, boom! Walking. He just countered me, man. On. Good riddance. Yeah, I don't have to say good news. Okay. What's up there? We we'll have to follow the trail of blood, right? So full of water. So we're gonna have to drain it first. Drain the water all the way. Drain it all the way so that we can follow the trail of blood. Yes. Simple. Jump over there. Come 
more items. Okay. Screw and a bullet. Let's look in there. I have this thirst for blood. Please. This Who said that? Despicable. You can get more blood. I have this thirst for blood. Who's over there? Let's check in there. An endangered folk. Let me go, you bastard! Econs. You Those guys are at a level 30, man. They can totally wipe the floor with me. All right, you lousy econ. Get away from her. That's another one of the endangered citizens? True. Calm down, I'm coming. Let her go, you freak. Alright, enough. Enough already! Yes. That way I can lower some defenses. You just gained his stamina? Okay, now you're starting to annoy me. Slash me again, see what happens. Oh man. Switch to the shotgun. What are you doing? I'm about to die. Finished. What's this? A diary. This is Louise Teasdale. You okay, ma'am? Are you all right, miss? Who are you? What do you want from me? My name is Jonathan Reed. I'm a doctor. What happened to you? Why are you here? I'm Louise Teasdale. I was kidnapped a few weeks ago by a vampire. Don't laugh, please, sir. It's no joke. I believe you, Miss Teasdale. That monster told me my father was dead, that no one was waiting for me outside. You're safe now. You don't have to worry about the vampire. You should just return home. Thank you, sir. I hope we'll meet again soon, because I'd really like you to teach me how to get rid of these creatures. Okay. She has a bit of a headache. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Alright, we found her. Reason why she has a headache. I don't know why. You can't cure her right now. You better wait until she's safe. Not that we saved her life. This is despicable. Let's carry on, okay? I can't believe I'm doing this. I know. <sighs> because you're an Econ, a vampire. Remember the Krusnik from Trinity Blood? The Krusnik feeds on vampires. Abel Nightroad from Trinity Blood. He's a Krusnik. Alright.
I never imagined how Krusnix feeds on vampires. He fought against the vampire in the first episode of Trinity Blood. On a, on a blimp. On the airship. He fought against Alfred, the vampire. But enough about Trinity New Blood. Let's let's finish this one. Here we go, okay? We're gonna enter Elonius's mansion. We're in the temple church. Cool. What map are we in? We're in Dawson's mansion. Nice. <laughs> we gotta ask West End inhabitants about Alunius Dawson. We got pre-wins over there. There's one of them. Watch yourselves. That hurt. Let's switch to the stake. Ah! You handle this one. Right. That's it. I won't waste bullets. Reload, please. He is fast. And I'm not a leech. Stop being offensive to vampires. We're not leeches, we're vampires. Ekans. Booyah. Alright, now where are we? We're still in here, but... Let's see here. This is a dead end over there. Maybe it's best that we focus. I wonder why this is under quarantine. Free and brawlers. Alright, enough. What are you doing? Can you knock it off right now? I won't let you stab me, punk. Take that. this good evening sir may I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town and who are you sir I'm dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital may I ask who you are and why all the questions I'm detective inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Charles Albright Albright and I don't find the detective inspector convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I work for the Ascalon Club. 
Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous, and you'd better be careful. True. Let's ask him about... Why are you investigating at night? Criminals really Questions. act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Does the name Fergal ring a bell? Fergal Bancher? Of course it does. Fergal Bancher, the butcher of Galway. Hung in Dublin in 1857 for murdering more than 20 men with his bare hands. Why are you so interested in dead criminals, sir? Wow. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions. Is a bell. Especially when there's a killer on the loose. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. Ah, uh, you ain't available. The epidemic. We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. True. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. He works alone. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. I mean, that's a lot of men that Fergal killed. Why did he kill 20 men in the first place? Before he became a... A Volkoid vampire. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Mm. What are you investigating? Exactly. I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago, Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No, but I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. True. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? Aloysius Dawson. I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Wow. Who exactly would do that? Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Like the pre one Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Yes, sir. Okay, where else besides? There are two citizens. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed. Carolyn Price. I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Yeah. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. She's Take a merchant, too. See, she's got grease. 
spring, and the powder, and then shards, some aluminum parts. What else? Screw. What else? Let's talk to her. Dr. Reed, I am glad to see you again. Same to you, ma'am. Talk to her again. Good evening. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. True. She's fine. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war and the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser, more serious. It suits you well. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. True. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember she has a daughter. concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid. Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. She's not a bad mother. She's a good mother. There's no questions. I think that's it. Let's ask her about Al Aloysius Dawson. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though. Looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Aloysius Dawson. New hint available. Booyah! <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. That's all for now. Goodbye for now. Doctor Reed, I am glad. Okay. Who's down there exactly? I cannot enter. I can't enter. Who is that woman down there? You're going the wrong way, Jonathan. You're heading back into the sewers. Alright. Back in the sewers again. 
there any way I can get some more grass? Oh, we're getting back to Lewis Teasdale. Actually, let's get out. She's still there. Come on, load. Okay, this time we're gonna go search for her. Okay. Stay focused, okay? Who's in there? Dr. Reed, I am glad to see you. I know. Yeah, the door's been unlocked. Booyah. Ones over there. For right now, I should probably start searching for some folks. Charles Albright's healthy. And who is this woman here? Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes. Of That's course. Carol. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I, hope you can stay a little longer. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. see here. She's healthy. Let's ask her li about her life in London. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh, no. Most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicote used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this camellia may be. Yeah, I wonder. 
Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh, yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. Mm, she's clumsy, all right. Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. Not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. True. What else? It's all good. Goodbye, Carol. I am sorry, I, I, I can't help you. I hope sir. you can stay a little longer. Perhaps you should talk with someone else instead. Yeah, we will have to talk to someone else. Now that we've talked to Carol. Who is that guy? Let's check on the citizens menu. There's only three more. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you, then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like Agamemnon brother, Baker. I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on He's anything. got a brother. He's fine. Let's ask him about his life in London. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Wait. I think. He's got an older but brother. The important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand. Yes, no, I'm not. Questions. Hints will fail. Don't you think? Nope. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. I know. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Of course. This is Priscilla's, the older brother. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's all. No. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Pericles Does Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. He's fine. First of questions. Let's see here. His life in London. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. I wanted something this city can't provide. Tell me more about why you want to leave London, then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. True. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. True. 
Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? I know we are not living in the most... Can I say yes, I do to him? The hint was but I have right. learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. Yeah, no, no hint fail, so that's fine. No, don't mesmerize. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. True. Let's ask him about the other ones. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Oh, who's that guy Only over there? that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, oh. I thought we should have left this, this old brother over there. already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and here we are. True. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is oh naive sometimes, although don't Sound consider him a fool, sir. <laughs> he is often more lucid than me. What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Uh. True. Why do they quarrel each other? Gotta look for the last citizen. Let's see. <laughs> there he is. Well, who is this dude? It's locked, all right. The crime of lost knowledge. Jonathan Reed. At last That's Usher. We meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they can tell me everything. They told me that you have not taken another life since your poor sister died. He knows about his sister. Some questions. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. True. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound yeah, never healed. Are going what down. was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. 
We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question mm, found. I can't answer. Right. It's delicate and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. I would rather not know. True. How do you measure the amount? I told you. Is it possible? A vampire. All right. Let me hear it. You're on a path to redemption, Jonathan. But be careful. One single trip and you'll fall. That doesn't sound promising. Take this, young Ekon, as a personal reward for your strong will. Keep following the right path and you'll reach safety. Old blood. Okay, what's... Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure We're asking him you about want the cards. to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Here is the money. Love. Pure and I have 150 unseen. shillings, so that's Untold. great. The two hearts love each other without knowing it. Without daring to admit it. True. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Read my fortune, then. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be we're glad we're to. We're going to do Pandora's back, box on new investigation. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. True. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man, a man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Okay. Can you read the cards for me? Put the money on the table then, Jonathan, and open your mind. I already said that. Perhaps later. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts. Readings which blackened his heart. 
Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Okay. Again. What are the cards trying to tell us? Wow. Kind of remind me of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. The cards are tarot. Like the fool. That's one of Iggy's stand. And the Empress? One of Nana's stands. That was from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. Oh, we're gonna go see Rufus again. All right. Gotta do the investigation from now on. And knock out those Prewin pr scum. Where was it located? In Whitechapel. Got to learn where the notebook is stolen from Usher Talltree by the Prewin agents. They are evil. Why does he think he's a vampire? skulls again. Oh, hello Cadigan. Let's talk to him. Mr. Bates. Evening. It's unusual to see someone so happy around here. Especially considering the current situation. Ha! Why should I be sad now? There have always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy, and I intend to stay so. What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money is not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. Whoa. I don't approve of your actions, but I know very little about this borough, other than its reputation. The necessary evils, if necessary I pick this one, evils. let's see what happens. A necessary evil. That's one way to think about it. Knew you had more smarts than all these immigrants. Nope. Let's see here. Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. <laughs> Whoa. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not really. A man such as yourself, knee deep in the muck of Whitechapel, must know more. Speak now. Heard it closed after the owners died. Refugees don't want to come to Whitechapel no more. Scared, I hear. You sound disappointed. As long as she was there at the dispensary, it attracted more immigrants and kept my place full. Such a shame. Well, why am I not convinced? Maybe it's because you lack faith. Being a skeptic must be useful for a man of science. True. Well, let's go for Goodbye, now. Mr. Bates. 
Got some more XP. Let's talk to Loretta. Goody. Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swamborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers, who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. Well, as it is a placebo of sorts, perhaps it may have I'll some ask positive her about the placebo? See? The hint might fail, right? Doing some good. The Swamborough family is not poisoning anybody, Doctor. Yeah, no, of course not. I'd like to see what kind of... I think we should go. I'm gonna check my map. It's gotta be in the theater, right? Long map. Where can I go from here on out? It's got to be in this theater where these pre winds enter. I will return at a more convenient time. True. Locked. It's locked, all right. All locked. How are we going to get it's back locked. in? It's locked. Lively! It's on to us! So these poor scums. Bloody leech! I am not a leech. Stop draining my blood away. You're going down. Stop countering me, dude. Take that. A lot of free when stop burning me. What's wrong with you? I'm an echo, not a leech. It's locked, all right. 
Door is locked. Best run along home, sir. Locked too. Check my map again. Come on. Their headquarters. Where could their headquarters possibly be? Best be moving on. I'll do it with you. What are you doing? These guys work for Jeffrey McCollum. Oh yeah? Watch me. I can't believe I'm getting burned by those three winds. Okay, I'm gonna check my map. Oh my god, I gotta deal with him. Oh crap. Better run away from these guys. I cannot enter. No. Okay, I gotta check that map. This is no place for a gentleman. Did you say a gentleman? Who said that? Ah. 
serves you right, pal. How am I gonna get in there? Oh, come on. Hurry up. Why does this thing disappear on me? Take that. Why am I forming more XP? Finsbury Theater is locked. I think it's probably in the sewers, right? I do speak English. Oh, great. Vulcans. Vulcoids. What do you think you're doing? Gotta be the hideout, right? It's locked, all right. Yeah, I can tell how locked it is. Oh, 
Oh, true, it's locked. This is the area where we fought Doris. Where exactly could it be? Gotta be Albert. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. Let's see here. No. Come out. I cannot enter. How are you, boy? I'm not your... Dude. Have conditions improved in Whitechapel? I'm ready for whatever's coming. True. Goodbye, young man. He's probably gonna go in there. It's locked, all right. Oh, so soon. I cannot enter. No, you can't enter. Damn, where is it? I'm sure I threw it in one of these barrels. Did someone find my stash? Through. Where is it? I'm, I'm sure I threw it in one of these barrels. Let's see here. It's gonna be one annoying investigation to do it. Maybe we go in inside. What's he doing? Ah, oh, there it is. He's got another pill. Harmo nil for severe anxiety and nervous disposition. Thanks for nothing, old fart. I'll get a good price for your precious pills. Wow. Now, how do you get it back up? I already did. It's locked, all right. Totally locked. How are you? I'm not your... You're rude. Why did you try to steal your father's medication? Why shouldn't I? What has he ever done to earn my respect? Your father seems to hold quite a grudge against you. The man's a walking gym bowl. I ain't seen him sober since he got back from the war. But the gun? Now that is a surprise. True. It is clear that you have a somewhat contentious relationship with your father. Oh, really? Nothing clever to say. He's an alcoholic. 
That must make life difficult. Oh, no, it's perfectly fine. No money, no home, no friends to lend a hand. My father should have died in France. Don't say that. War can change you. I have seen many men who have lost their wits on the battlefield. I'm not going to lose any more time with that drunken ass. Me? I prefer to take my chances with the wet boot boys. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. Yeah, I know. All I gotta do is fight some free wins. Now then. Why does it feel like I'm going around in circles? Doors locked, so that's why you can't go back in, right? It's gotta be in there. doing Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is an ill. The wet boots will be proud of me.
Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. How am I gonna ever gonna get up there? It's just annoying. Nope. I cannot enter. You can't enter. is in there, right? Not even working. Check one more time. It's locked, all right. I cannot enter. No, you can't. It's impossible. You know what? Forget it. Hmm. Where are those Freewind? Agents, where the heck are they? I'm gonna check my map. Is 
Us in a theater. No, exactly. Maybe it's this guy, I guess. rather painful. Where are their hideouts? It's locked, all right. Door's locked. Man, I'm getting confused. Check one more time. The West End District. Oh, I've got to check this again. This has got to be him, right? Better go home, sir. I'll kill him. it no
This is starting to get on my nerves. Get. This ain't not, this is not it. It's gotta be it. Nothing. No! Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. Where are we gonna go to Dawson's mansion? Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You pay for peas and mine. A skull. the mansion. This one tough investigation. Now we're in Dawson's mansion. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. Fountain of life. But the question remains Am I ready to make a dying man? 
Okay. Talk with Alosius Dawson. Okay. Gather some shillings. There he is. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Can you trust me? Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. I learned that myself, the hard way. Oh my god, man, stop your whining. I don't have time for your pointless jibber-jabber. What do you know about the guard of Prewin? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. True. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Let's see here. There are three choices. You embrace, charm, turn. I'd rather you turn. But you lose 2,000 XP. Like this. Are you ready for immortality, Mr. Dawson? Drink now, and say farewell to life as you prepare to be reborn. What do you mean, drink? What about the blood transfusion? I'm the doctor and the vampire here, so I'll give the orders. Drink, sir. Now. All right. Yeah. Good. That's enough. That's enough, I said. I will not die. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, no. You will die, sir. Steal yourself. You're already in death's grip. Wow. We raised our mesmerized level. We better report to Lord Redgrave. Is he dead?
We're out of here for now. Shillings here. Is it done, Doctor Reed? There you are. Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Yes, my lord. Ascalon has a new recruit, as you ordered. Wonderful news. I've waited for this outcome for so long. Tonight you served your country, the king himself, beyond all expectation. Thank you, my lord. No, thank you, Dr. Reed. Now, could you do me one last favor? Of course. What is it? Go outside and talk with that disgusting creature I saw waiting for you in front of this mansion. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll have a look. Good. I didn't kill her on the spot. Or she claims to be a friend of yours. But don't you dare bring such a creature near me again. And by the sword you die. Chapter 5 is ready. Talk with old Bridget. Alrighty folks. Now we're recruited. Aloysius Donson by turning him into a vampire. Man, I'm tired. We'll talk to old Bridget outside. There she is. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. Good thing she's healing, right? We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. Wow. We better reach the Pembroke Hospital. Heading back to the Pembroke Hospital, folks.
Can you please load already? Your put? This guy's five times the level higher than me. Okay, that hurt. Enduring the pain. God. I hate those guys. You see him? He's got blood barrier. Very effective. Out of blood. Uh oh. My God. Yes, I'm going to fail. What are you trying to do? What's it gonna take to kill that guy? Wow, he really is tough. Stop that. You stop that already. Enough. Oh my god, I'm about to die. What are you trying to do? Poison me? That really hurts. <laughs> Serves you right. Okay, we're heading to the Pembroke Hospital again. What is this truck? Are the vampire hunters here already? Oh, I can tell. Motor mo merchant servants. Probably.
Okay, I should probably talk to Milton. Hey, man. Good evening. Good evening, Doc. I'd like to. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. This costs like two hundred and eighty shillings. Thank you. We gotta go to Dr. Swansea's office from now on. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Follow the blood trail. Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Warning letter. Dr. Ackroyd. Blood. See it. He's upstairs. Now, how did the door open? Ah, oh, both doors are open. Okay. And they got an elevator. Yeah, those are the vampire hunters, the pre-ones that, that beat the living daylights out of Dr. Swansea. Who would do such a thing? Blood trail. Where are we? We're in a hideout. Uh, sunlight. Ultraviolet curtains and ori calcium powder. McCollum. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts your hand. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You did you not. You aim to unleash another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it, just like you are. You're a progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Another sunlight? Uh, uh. <laughs> That's ultraviolet. So much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Uh-oh, we got a boss battle. Do you battle. know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. What are you drinking? This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. He's got a sword. Sure enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. We have a boss battle. Useless on me. Jeffrey McCollum is at a level 3 and he's going to be really annoying. He's going to shoot you. He's going to use his UV lamps on you. He's kind of a strong guy. Freewind prevails. Freewind do not prevail, freak. He's gonna use his sword to attack you. Okay. 
He's immune to blood. True light will cleanse you. Come on, Reed. Try something. Else. Yeah, he's gonna block you. Watch out for the sunlight. That hurts. Get used to it. What put you down? Yeah. I'm sure, the shadows need help. I know. It hurts, doesn't it? Stop gloating at me, man. Show some style. Fight like a man. You fight like a man, jerk. Oh man, he is so annoying. Stop it. This guy's tough. Drinking. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect you. Come on. What are you trying to do? Yeah, he just burned me. Okay. Uh oh. No way, man. What? I died. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. <sighs> this is really annoying boss battle. Besides, I'm on a lower level. Yeah, those no claws would help me. Maybe if I can try again. Jeffrey McCollum is one of the hardest boss battles to deal with. I'll try it one last time. Poison as bite is useless on me. God. I better watch his attack pattern. If you're so innocent, yeah, he was simple like right. burn you so much. He's strong. The bullets help? No bullets would help me. I... Come on, Reed. Okay. Okay, avoid sunlight. You don't threaten me, buddy. Not gonna do me any good if I keep using the boss. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Try it. I know. It hurts, doesn't it? You bet it does. Oh my god, I'm hitting the wrong button. Shut up. Oh, 
this do any good? True light will cleanse you. Yeah, he resists. The blood of a true defender of this land. Oh my god. This battle is so blasted annoying. something else stop mocking me yeah his three hit combo won't scare me that's a lot of sunlight why so many UV lamps you're so innocent! What? Shut up. Oh my god. True light will cleanse you. True light will cleanse you. Oh my god. This is so irritating. No. What? I know. What are you doing? It hurts, doesn't it? Of course it does. Cause you are such an annoying jerk. Stop it! Drink his blood. Somehow this guy never stops until he defeats me. gonna stop until I destroy you, McCollum. What are you doing? There's blood. Close your eyes! This is gonna hurt. Why? Why would I close my eyes? Just because it's gonna hurt. Come on. Ow! I know. It hurts, doesn't it? I heard you the, the fifth time. But if you're so innocent, why does simple night burn you so much? Okay. He's still moving. What's what is wrong with you? Come on, hurry. Yeah, I'm getting hit by the stupid flames. Dodged it. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a lot of lamps. I mean, light. Oh, that doesn't work. Seriously fast and annoying. Oh my god. 
escapar. Okay, he's almost down, guys. Dodged it. Blood. Close your eyes. This is cool. Shut up. Yes. Booyah. Yeah. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind. Your kind are the worst. I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. His there is sister. no way you'll ever right. let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't His you? His sister. There is no escape, Leech. Right. Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. I am not a leech. I told you before. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? Okay, there are two choices. One, you you can spare him. Or two, you have to sacrifice 1,000 XP in the process by turning him into a vampire. So I'd rather go with spare him. I'll spare you, McCollum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? What ruse? This is no ruse, McCollum. This is me letting you go. After all, you and I are both trying to save this poor country in our own way. Yep, that's his arch enemy. You sparing him, dude? I'll kill you, Reed! Next time we meet, I'll end you! See? Progress already! You called me by my name! Until the next time! Goodbye, Hunter. Till next time, jerk. You've crossed the line once again. Alright, we defeated Jeffrey McCollum, but we spared his life. So sparing his life was one of the good choices. That's for sure. <sighs> and the bad choice is, is you're going to make him a vampire. On load already. There we go. Science without conscious. Rescue and Edgar Swansea. We're gonna rescue him. It's in the theater. But for now, let's do it again. All you gotta do is defeat McCollum first. Plain and simple.
<coughs> Excuse me. I gotta check on that. Darn it. You're going the wrong way, man. Better do the right thing instead of trouble, that's for sure. You should probably talk to Newton and Oswald. Could you please load already? Oh, okay. That's weird. Good evening. Evening, Doctor. Are you concerned about the conditions here in London? Not really. Sick people, men in arms, fighting every night. I already faced all this during the war. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess, then, if you're so interested in my case. Let's see here. Should I do this one? Perhaps you were trapped or locked in somewhere as a child. The horror of war could have brought this memory back to the surface. Are you joking? I grew up on a farm. I had a bloody fantastic childhood. Ah, it failed. That's how I'd make the wrong choice. <laughs> Two hints failed. That's messed up. Goodbye, man. I don't care right now. We're gonna talk to him one last time. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Are you concerned about the living conditions in the city? Of course I am. I'll be stuck here for as long as Oswald refuses to go to hospital. And, unfortunately, it seems the violence is rising. What kind of violence? I believe people have armed themselves and started to attack those that show signs of contagion. Uh, Goodbye, Mr. Blue. Let's talk one last time. Hello again. Good evening. No. Hint failed. Goodbye, Mr. <laughs> I can't believe the hint failed. I really shouldn't have done that. What happens when you made the wrong choice, Dr. Reed? Got some more annoying free ones over there. Load, please. Lag! Why is my game lagging? Massive soda. So freaking annoying. That's the way. All right, whatever. What are you doing? Shooting me like a jerk? The 
Like, why is my game lagging? Massive slowdown. Oh, jeez. I said that last time. No. Oh, my God. Stop that. That was close call. Why are they not screaming? I don't get it. Uh oh. Why are they shooting me? Okay, I'll go. I'll go kill him. Why not? I ain't wasting staring. Stop wasting my time. doing Get out of my way poison gas bombs doesn't scare me man doesn't scare me enough. Finished. Hmm. 
How do I get up there? Alright. You know what? I should probably rest. to the theater again. The one after where I defeated Doris Fletcher and McCollum stops us. Swansea, Swansea has been taken hostage. But after we rescue Swansea and save his life, we'll end it. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. True. Sound glitch is killing me. I don't like glitches. That's all good. Dr. Swansea is over there. It's gotta be it. Dr. Swansea's over here. I cannot enter. There he is. Nope. Come on, die. Knock it off. You have three pre wins. Stop draining my blood. Come on. I'm about to die. Yep. I just died.
no more giving up. died. I won't go down. Mm -mm. Goodbye. Finally. Stop burning me. Gotcha. Better save Dr. Swansea. Kick your butts. Ouch. Explode. Oh god, Lord, I gotta fail this. No! Oh, about to die! Almost dead. I'm almost dead. Oh no! Please leave me alone. Why to concentrate? Where's Swansea? Appears that he's under the basement somehow. No, you're going the wrong way. It's locked. True, it is friggin' locked. Hear some Prewin? Do I hear a Prewin over there? Glitch. What 
are you doing to me, man? You better, you better stay out of my way if you know it's good for you. Oh, what are you keep burning me? Actually, let's do a little side quest. Swansea, seriously. I cannot enter. Windows are closed, so that's why. Check one more time. Why? Where could they be? It's locked. I told you it's locked. Could somebody explain to me where is there Dr. Swansea? You know what? Let's stop for now. Right. It's killing me. Is this a bug or something? Actually, let's just get rid of this one right now. I'll have to rest for now. Break.
of lag. What exactly is up with this lag? choices. Actually, I'd rather get the blood thing. No problem. And that's how you do it. damage. You need 6,000. I'm going to try the bite. Hard biting. You need 1,000. Congratulations. Try the shadow mist. That would help, right? The following night, the Dawson plan to save London. Oh, good gravy. Is there anyone missing? Oh my god, it's now critical. Everyone's totally sick. <gasps> Uh-oh, they're all sick now. Hostile! Ooh, this is bad. We're all sick. How many fatigues? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Let's 
really bad. Very, very bad. Everyone in town is literally sick. I'm gonna check one last time. Just to categorize as, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Twenty one, Oh my god, that's a lot of fatigues. This is messed up enough. Not only is this horrible, it's messed up. You went into a hostel. I gotta still check the citizen menu. How many cold? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Really messed up. <sighs> well, Gia, I'm gonna check. Keep checking it. So. Headache one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh man. Out of out of ergo to mine. But let's end this for let's just end it for now. Okay folks. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gable Gaming 5000K. We're gonna tackle 
on to the next part where we're going to rescue Dr. Swansea in part 11. See you then.